Hey guys, welcome to my new YouTube channel, Music Theory by Bill. This channel is going to be geared toward absolute beginners in the beginning, but as we progress, we're going to get into some more advanced concepts. Now, music theory can be applied to any instrument. However, for our purposes, we're going to be using a piano, and in my opinion, the piano or the keyboard is the best way to learn music theory, especially for beginners, because playing a note is just a matter of pressing a button. And also the layout of white keys and black keys are a helpful reference point to figuring out where you are on the piano. So it would be helpful to have a keyboard, get a cheap one, and follow along, regardless of whatever instrument you're playing. Okay, so pitch is the frequency of a musical note. In Western music, the primary pitch or baseline frequency, which all others reference themselves against, is the note A4. And that's A4 on the piano. A4's frequency is 440 cycles per second or 440 Hertz um, <clears throat> this is a standardization for example if you go and buy a guitar tuner the guitar tuner is tuned with a4 at 440 Hertz so this is just a convention um, this note can be tuned differently in other tuning systems, but 99% of the time it's going to be 440 hertz. So if we double A4's frequency from 440 hertz to 880 hertz, A4 becomes A5. And then similarly, if we have A4's frequency, from 440 to 220, A4 becomes A3. But what you need to note here is that all of these notes are, on the piano or any instrument, considered A. But they're A's at different frequencies. And these frequencies are perceived by the ear doubling and having them they're considered by the ear as essentially being the same note so if I play them together they all sound like the same note and that's what happens when you double or half the frequency and you can repeat this action so A4 doubles to A5 which doubles to A6, 440 to 880 to 1760. A4 will have 440 to A3, 220 hertz, which will have again to A2, 110 hertz. Now, again, note and remember, these are all notes that are considered A. We can do the same thing with the note that's considered B on the piano. It's the same thing. It's B at different frequencies. You can do this into infinity. You can keep doubling, you can keep having, but at some point, the pitch is going to be too high or too low for you to be able to hear. Notes at doubled or halved frequencies are considered notes at different octaves. The name octave is going to be explained in greater detail later. But for now, just remember the name, octave. This is A at one octave. This is A at another octave. This is A at another octave. And we'll call it A4, A3, A2. So we can differentiate the different A's, the different A notes. If music was only a doubling or halving of a frequency, it would be very boring. 
So we put frequencies between the octaves to give music variety and color. In Western music, octaves, remember, one note to the next note at double its frequency, we divide them into 12 equal parts. These smallest, smaller parts, and actually the smallest part, it's the smallest subdivision of the octave. They're known as semitones or half steps. Without going into the complex math of frequency ratios, we can simply understand that there are 12 smaller equal subunits that get us to our next octave. I went too far ahead there. So, what you're essentially doing is you're pressing every key, every every button, if you want to look at it like that, in between one A or one note and the next A or the next note. So we'll start on one. The note in question, the principal note, will be our one. So we'll we'll literally press every key in between this A and the next, and we'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, to begin again at one on the next octave. Now we're at A5, on to the next octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then one. A6. So try to sing two adjacent half steps or semitones. Again, the next button, or even going down, the next button down. Literally, the closest thing you can get to the button that you're on, the key that you're on. So try singing two adjacent half steps. If you try to sing something that's in between the smallest subdivision, I'm not even doing it there. I'm still singing half steps. It's very difficult for me to sing something that's in between that. And this is why Western musician, musicians agree on the semitone as being the smallest musical step. The smallest subdivision. So there are frequencies that exist between two semitones. That's obvious. But they're not used typically in Western music. They're used in Eastern music and we call those quarter tones. And obviously this is beyond our scope. Um, I'm not saying they're not used in Western music, there are a few musicians I've heard on YouTube that do use quarter tones, but it's very awkward for my ear, and maybe it's just because I'm not used to hearing it. But um, most Western musicians consider the semitone to be the smallest step. So that's the end of our lesson. We learned about the octave, and we learned about the semitone. I'll see you in lesson two.